my near-death experience. So my, um, my near-death experience, so I was going through a lot of life transitions and turmoil and suffering, and um, I'll get into that in a different video, but for the going home, the near-death experience, so I ended up in a place where everything was black, right? And so from the turmoil and the experience that I went and I found myself in a place I didn't know where I was, right? And so when I came to looking at, okay, where am I in the awareness? I was in this black, dark space. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know what I was doing. And so I looked at my body and I was like, where am, where am I? I don't have a body, right? And it was like, I don't have any of my senses. I can't see. It's so black pitch black that... You can't see and so I just kind of stood there trying to make sense of it and next thing I know is I seen this white light coming and within the white light it was like these huge white lights you ever see like those big uh, movie projecting lights things right and so they're just shining on you to bring in the lights um, uh, it was like like that, it was so bright that you couldn't even see into the light. So I couldn't, it's so black pitch where I was that you couldn't see. And then you couldn't see into the light and it's so blinding, right? It was so blinding, but there was beings in the light, right? And you couldn't see their form. You just knew they were there. You could feel them. And so that is a sense, right? You feel on the other side, you don't see, you don't have a body, you feel, right? And you don't talk, you, you, have telepathy right and so as i'm trying to communicate with them because i sent somebody there i was trying to commute with them they're like you have to drop that right and so in dropping that i was able to remember when they were i was like okay let me just close my eyes and i didn't have any eyes <laughs> and i was like let me just try i don't know what it meant and then i all and then all of a sudden i realized what that was meaning i remembered um, cause they, they brought that to me, the remembrance of the telepathy. And so I was communicating with them. And so then they took me with them into the light. And so next thing I know, I'm into this huge white place. It was like all light. It was just this energy. It was so much energy. Um, like it, it's just, it's hard to put into words. And so it was like this magnificent place. And nothing had rooms or doors or anything. It was just all open, but it was all lights, energy. And you just knew people were there doing things. It was very busy. People were walking. Or I don't even know if they were walking. They were just everywhere. They were just moving from place to place. You just felt these energy vibrations of existence. And so, like, it's... It, if I have to put it in perspective of the of what we have here, I would say like Grand Central Station, but 10 times bigger, right? And so it was all this going on, but you can't, you couldn't really see it. You just knew it. You seen through your intuition. You seen through your, your third eye. You seen through that, but in that there was nothing. There was nothing. And so it was just being, right? And so I was going around trying to look at different things but you it was you couldn't really see because there was nothing to see it was just being and it's really hard to put in words and to wrap your mind around it but there was this when you, and then when I went over to this one place I was like questioning like what are we doing where are we you know what's going on here because where I was I didn't know where I was and so it was like this it was like this chair this couch this little sitting area it was like this coffee table this couch and then these chairs that just appeared in the middle of nowhere but again it's not physical so you it's not there but it was there you can sense it you can feel it and so i was like okay so i sat down and i was just waiting it was like they told me to wait there and so <laughs> as i'm waiting there i'm just like observing everything and then i was having this communication with this person this person finally came and then we went into like this um, room, which again, wasn't there, but it was there because it was not physical. 
it's like going into this energy and this vibration, this space, and it was like, whatever we did in there was like a life review, right? And so we went in, we did the life review, came back. And then the next thing I know, we because we were having conversations and stuff like that. Now, I don't remember word for word all the details of the conversations, what we we're talking about, but I know I went from one place to the other place to the other place to the other place. They didn't want me to go too far. They wouldn't let me go very far because when I tried to go far, they wouldn't let me. Right. And so I was just ready to go running around because I tried to go there and tried to go here and all these places. And it was like, no, <laughs> they won't let me go that far because I was just so happy to be back. Right. So to be there. And so we went into this one room as I sat there and it seemed like forever that I was just waiting for for this to to take place. And we went in there and we did a life review and came back out. And next thing I know, I'm back in my body. Like right. when I realized when I was coming back through, I was like, oh crap, I'm here. And so I'm back in my body and I'm like, oh God. That was the first thing that came and I was like, oh my God, what am I doing here? Why am I back here? And a lot of my memory had been wiped away um, because then I wouldn't have been able to feel, fulfill the rest of my journey. Um, that I needed to before I can get to the other parts of the awakening. And so I had a little bit more to go through um, to get to where I am now. And so having that, you know, after that, I went through the Kundalini. I went through a lot of different things um, after that. Um, but having that aha moment that I was back here in this realization, in this realm, this reality, and then next thing I know, I had a, the feeling of this energy next to me. And I was like, who is that? Because like, I went to bed alone. I am waking up here in this reality now where when I was home and now I'm here and what is going on? And I'm like, all these things going through my mind. And I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? Um, and so waking up I felt like this energy next to me and of course me back in the human form right away I'm like okay looking over thinking I'm gonna see somebody there laying next to me whether it was my child or you know the ex or whatever it was I don't know um, but nobody was there and so I was like okay maybe maybe I'm not here maybe I'm not here and so I roll back over and I close my eyes and I'm like because oh, being on the other side there was like so much going on like it was almost kind of like trying to re steady myself into the physical realm again and i was like okay i was like i'll go open my eyes again and i'll look over and still nobody was there and it was like there's somebody there and it was like i was leaning up against them but i couldn't see them and then they remind me to use my senses right my intuitive senses so again, dropping my physical human senses there, I was able, okay, then th that made sense, right? And it was like this whole energy of, at that point, started, it was like from head to toe, it was the span of my whole body, like this wing, or this energy that just lifted up. And my imagery, you know, of maybe it's just my human conscious, it was like the wing, right? And so it was like this wing that just opened up. And I had started to to sit up and as the, the wing was opening, all this love just came, right? It was just this bursting of love. Like you, it's not something you can experience and feel here. It's from the other side, right? And so, the angel had not only stayed with me until I was present in, in the human form, but protected me and kept me um, in, coved into this energy and vibration of love till I woke up, right? And then as, as I was becoming more conscious and aware, right, it was this energy just started lift, like I said, lifted up its wing and the energy started to dis dissipate. And I got up and stood up and it got up. It was like this wing on the bottom and then this wing on top. And then all this energy just started coming out as I was, um, as it was opening its arm so I can get up and get out of bed. I stood on one side and, and the angel was on the other side. And like all this energy and love 
was just present. It was just very, wasn't overwhelming though. It was just so much, but not overwhelming, which is really hard to explain because you just don't, like I said, you don't, and it's just hard for me to put it in words. So I haven't really talked about it very much, but um, it, it's just, it's uncomprehendable the amount of love that that is because you don't experience that here. Like experience, it's just hard to explain, but the amount of love that came through from that energy, that being was amazing. And it was a great set point for me to remember um, and to keep me uh, straight on the path to remember that experience, you know, and although you can experience that type of love here, because it doesn't exist in this realm, um, it's only from that place when you're when you're not here in the physical form beyond here is where you experience all that love. Um, and so it is the greater aspect of ourselves who we truly are. And so when we can bring that into this paradigm, that's amazing, right? But it, a lot of times you can experience that here. And so it's just a great set point um, to remember, you know, that this is only a temporary space of being and that more exists beyond this realm. And so with that being standing on one end of the, the bed and then I'm on the other and just looking at each other while this love is just illuminating from the being. And so nothing really needed to be said. And the only thing as I'm dropping you know, my, um, my physical way of being, like the communication, um, their energy started to dissipate when I was back into, um, you know, more of my intuitive abilities, the, the energy just started to dissipate and they were leaving and I knew they were leaving and I was like, uh, but when they left, I was like, I looked at myself and I'm like, I don't feel that suffering anymore. I don't feel that pain. It was like I was healed. You know, I didn't have that suffering anymore. It was gone. And so, because that was a soul-wrenching suffering. And I don't know what that was about, but I was, it was like my life was ending. And um, prior to the going home experience, and it was just um, soul-wrenching, basically. And to have that experience, it kind of reminds me of what and where we are here and what's there and what doesn't exist here and what exists there, which is love. And so the angel coming back with me and being and holding that space for me and helping with the healing and the transformation, you know, I was able to come back here and do what I'm doing now as I'm going through. And from that point, you know, teachers just started coming into my life. So I had somebody come in and teach me about meditation, yoga, um, and then all these other things. And then I started finding all these um, intuitive places, you know, metaphysical shops. And then I've kind of been set on that journey. And so here I am channeling, right? And so I've awakened all of my abilities, right, in order to do this. And so this is part of what I'm doing, right, to share um, the information. And so that's where I'm building the channel, my books, everything like that. But that was a very transformational experience for me and to um, give me a set point of where I am, you know, going on and into the next part of my journey and my evolution. But um, that's where I get all this information from, you know, it's not just something I'm pulling out of a book. It's, it's my own personal journey and experience of being on the other side, you know, that none of this uh, exists here. And so, to see it from that perspective and just to continue to engage in this realm from that awareness, you know, and so know that none of that exists from there, but exists here, you know, is not an easy, easy journey whatsoever, but I'm able to channel and bring in the information that I'm bringing. And so that was just my experience of the death experience from that point where it actually happened, where I surrendered my life. Right. And so, Having surrendered my life, I was taken to the other side. Um, and I had my experience. And so am I a religious person or do I believe in angels or did I believe in a God? No. Um, when I went into those establishments, you know, it's not that I didn't try. I even tried reading the Bible when I was younger. Um, and I only got to like the first few 
pages and I was like, yeah, no, this, this has, no, this doesn't resonate. Like I knew intuitively and instinctively knew that it, it was not true information. And so when I went to the churches, I it only lasted, I've tried different ones and I only lasted in those places for like a month. And then I stopped going cause it wasn't, what they were speaking wasn't true. And so like all these things were come up, even like when I was a child, you know, my mom tried to make me dress me up in little like, um, like little dresses and do my hair and curlers and put these white gloves on and these little black shoes, like trying to create this illusion for my, for me about who I was, you know, and this ego identity realm. And so it was like a lot of this belief, a domination kind of stuff and ingrainment going on. And so I was like, I wasn't allowing and accepting any of that. And so I was able to keep part of myself, my whole true self as I was evolving through time. But um, some places, you know, I, I was kind of uh, in the illusion, you know, and so which actually brought me to my death experience and the going over to the other side. So I didn't really have any um, belief in angels and that they really existed. I knew that they said that they were there, but I didn't really have any <laughs> um real belief in that they existed, nor God. And I did I surrender my, my life to to Jesus? No, I didn't. And that's another false illusion. Like when I surrendered my life, it was to the divine source. You know, I questioned him and I spoke to him and or her um, at that point, you know, which I said, I didn't know who you are, if you even exist or if, what this is even about. And so, like, it was like I demanded to have the understanding, right? And so I friend of myself, I was like, you can have this life back if this is what this is about, because I don't want it. And so I put it in, in, in Source's face, right? The reality of what was going on here. I didn't go to, to Jesus, you know, that's a false teaching. And that's why a lot of people don't get anywhere in their evolution, because they're preaching and praying and to a false person, a religion, you know, and you don't go through Jesus to be saved or to be healed or to be, um, it's, it may be your belief in that, that will do it for you, but to be in truth, to have that experience, that awakening experience, to understand and know who you truly are, isn't through Jesus, because this this being that they want to put in front of you as the worshiping God for you is false. You go straight to your source, right? And that's why a lot of people don't see beyond themselves. They stay in the illusion. And that was the purpose of it, you know. Um, and I'm not really wanting to get down on that, on that path, but because um, I have the understanding now that I've been on the other side, um, what it all is. But having the experience, the awakening experience, um, the death experience, uh, coming back, the angel experience, the feeling of that love was a new set point for me to be here and to remember um, why I came back, right? That's why, and so it wasn't going to be just like some dream that I had in my awakening. It was there, put there for the reason of proof. So I had the proof in the existence of the human realm, not just like a dream, like I dreamt it. Right. And a lot of people who have near their experiences, they're always saying, oh, well, that's just a dream. It's just an illusion. No, it, it was beyond that. And so I have the proof that it does exist. Right. The other side exists. We can go on the other side. We can come back. There is angels. There is energy of divine love and understanding and compassion. And we have that past life review um, experience. And we also go through the life review and then there's no judgment, there's no punishment, there's no none of that that we want to believe in here. And that's why part of me struggled with religion, because we were dominating and believing in that. And so that's what people, they're putting on people, and which lowers your vibration and it's part of the separation, right? And so having that understanding, I know none of that exists. And so I don't, I don't participate in any of that. I don't participate in anything that has to do with religion. I don't do Christmas. I don't do any of the holidays. You know, um, that is just not what I do. I exist in my own divine connection with Source, and that's what I do. It's the only thing that I do. Um, 
but yeah, it wasn't there wasn't any of that. And what they teach um, in those facilities, in those practices, isn't real, right? And so it's not until you step out of that framework that you're going to be able to see it's real. What is real, you know? And so that was a whole different eye-opening game for me. And then coming back and then having that healed um, within me. Like I was like renewed and I felt the existence of that love from the angel that brought it back with me. Like it resounded with, with me for probably like I'd say about three to four days from that point. And then from there, like all my teachers started coming in and then I got to a point, you know, as my soulmate came in as well at some point and had some experiences there. And so it just became like this whole 10 year span of stuff like that I had gone through from the moment from that um, death experience to coming back, the angel, the love, the teacher for meditation, the teacher for yoga, the teacher in the intuitive ability skills, awakening those within me, the channeling, the information, um, having meeting the soulmate, the kundalini rising, um, and and that waking. That's going to be a whole different video. I'm going to do it on, but. Um, it was just like constant bam, 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 right? And so like a lot of that is shed and I'm like a whole totally different person um, than, than what I was, you know? It's like I don't even know that person anymore. It's like a whole different uh, reality of who that was. Um, but yeah, but a lot of the information that I bring, you know, a lot of it was taken from my memory, but only what I needed to come back in was left, right? And so the rest of it is being channeled through the abilities that I've awakened. So a lot of this is I'm, I'm sharing through there, but a lot of it is from my memory from being there, right? So it's kind of both, right? And so that's why I'm doing this. Um, also why I came back. And so that is the near death experience. I do have a video out there um, about the um, life review after I came back with a Native American, so check out that video. But um, yeah, I'll be sharing other uh, experiences that I've had, you know, as far as, you know, my, my journey through and all my teachers came to teach me, you know, everything that I needed to know for this journey and what I'm doing. If you do want to um, book any sessions, um, I do do that too, so that'll be dropped below. Like, share, and subscribe. Happy journeys.